In 2009, Dr. Tim Winter and the Muslim Academic Trust organised an international architectural competition for a truly sustainable mosque in Cambridge. Cambridge is kind of a unique city, an intellectual crossroads. It's a very global city. The Muslim community here is unlike that of most other Western European uh, towns because it's so cosmopolitan. We reckon we might have 60 or 70 different ethnic groups and nationalities in the Cambridge Muslim community. The tragedy is that we're one of the few towns in Britain, believe it or not, that doesn't have a proper purpose-built mosque. We started the design process by researching the architecture of mosques and observed that historically and around the world they invariably adopted their local vernacular. So we asked ourselves, how should a British mosque be designed for the 21st century? An idea emerged of a calm oasis within a glade of trees. It incorporates elements inspired by English fan vaulting, as seen, for example, in King's College Chapel, together with sacred Islamic design and its genius for geometry. We imagine the site planted with a grove of trees. The trees become structural and join to form a geometric canopy, which is then surrounded by structural timber walls clad in masonry tiles. Visitors will be welcomed through a procession of spaces from the busy street, through an Islamic garden, a loggia and an atrium, gradually moving from the day-to-day -to, -day to the reflective and the spiritual. Sustainable design, in its widest sense, includes not only environmental sustainability, but also social and economic. The new Cambridge Mosque is designed to embed itself easily into the local community, both physically and socially. It is intended to be non-denominational, inclusive, open and welcoming of the wider community. A meeting place in a cultural bridge where modernity and innovation and meet timeless sacred principles. It hopes to be one of the UK's leading women-friendly mosques that somehow fits in and stands out at the same time. Trees are not only beautiful, they also improve air quality, reduce soil erosion, absorb CO2 as they grow, they have low embodied energy and are a renewable resource, making them one of the most sustainable of all building materials. The mosque has an entirely timber structure, using laminated spruce for the tree columns and cross-laminated timber panels for the walls. Roof lights have been carefully designed to maximise natural light in all public areas, such that no artificial lighting will be necessary during daylight hours. Natural ventilation has been optimised throughout, with controlled air entering at low level and exiting around the roof lights, and it's supplemented by high-level extract fans at peak occupancy. The building fabric has ultra-low U-values with airtight construction to minimise energy need in the first place and energy loss. Rooftop photovoltaics provide electricity to heat all of the hot water, all of the artificial cooling and 13% of the heating. The air source heat pump extracts heat from the external air and balances heating and cooling demands within the building. And rainwater harvesting feeds the WCs and irrigates the garden. There is ultra-efficient hot water production and there are zero on-site carbon admissions. The cumulative effect of all of this thoughtful energy and water-saving design is a building with ultra-low running costs, as well as, hopefully, a building that lifts the spirits while drawing on a minimum of the Earth's limited resources.